Hello! Right, today I'm going to do a review uh, of this thing here, which is the McAllister uh, 750 watt um, pole saw. It's an electric jobby, I'm going to unbox it, put it together. The reason why I bought that and that and some more chain oil is because above the shed I have a very long branch that is attached to a tree over there which is covered in ivy and at some point it's going to die and drop that branch on the roof and I thought well while I can get up through this roof to support a ladder and get up really high before I put tin on the roof I'd cut bits of it off so let's stick you on a tripod, unbox this, put it together and see how it goes so what you get in the box is blade and chain of manual, the poles, the motor on one end, stick to the box, We have a strap, I'm not likely to use the moment. <coughs> we have a chain. have a guide bar. I'll just check how long that is. Overall, the guide bar is 24 centimetres from that end there. It's actually about 19 and well, 19.3 centimetres. So hopefully it will reveal 20 centimetres, which is just under 8 inches when it's put together. Right, so let's go and have a look at the manual. Plastic bag. And I'll just briefly familiarise myself with the manual. It does come with a hex key on it, which is nice, which you use on this bit. Right, that's the business end with the motor in it. Loosen off these ones, or at least make sure they are loose. Remove this one all together. That's that one. That's 
tiny little nylock. That's basically got a plug socket in it, so let me just put the camera this way up there, guys. Go off that way. It should only go right there. So we'll now pull that out. Tighten that down. To say for cheap electrical things going wrong, that in the end has effectively got a plug in it. Which is interesting. So if that goes that way. That has got to go on that way. And that can only go on one way because it's got that little sticky out bit there, which matches that there. So don't worry about getting that wrong because you have to use a lot of force to get it wrong. Put that in there, push it home, and then we can drop that one back in. together quite nicely. Now, put on the chain. Oh, that's how it tightens. It's got a tightening can there, which I presume yes, it does engage it like that, so that when you twist this one here, it will push the can tighter and tighten the chain. So that's how the chain tightening works on Callister chainsaws. Let's get the chain out.
Okay, so the chiseling is the cutting bed, those are the guides. Obviously, therefore, want to go over the chisel points facing forwards. Just take that over like that. An angle, it sits in there. We now can tension it. Let's put that back on. Make sure to have that cam wound back all the way in. Put that on. I'm just looking for where the oil comes out for the chain oil. Can't see it. Right. I think that's about it. Let me just check to see how that's the same. Cut the right way, that was quick assembly. If you push this button here, you can tilt the angle. That's, that's that button there. See how much blade we've got sticking out. In practice, you've got, you can see that. Blade sticking out is 18 and a half, including teeth. 18 and a half millimeters, including teeth. So, so 18 and a half centimeters, including teeth. So, you lose a centimeter and a half. Let's stick some chainsaw oil in it and fire it up. Chainsaw oil goes in that hole there. See how it gets on with a bit of wood. Don't use that anymore. That over to protect the blade while I move stuff about. Okay, well, it's quite heavy at the end. It doesn't feel heavy when you're holding it, but obviously, if you're holding it like that, it was quite white at the end. Hold on. Down. Just 
Bitte, bitte, bitte. Um, at full extension, if we're doing it like this, it is quite heavy. See how it feels like this. Actually, while we're here, we'll just take over a couple of low overhanging branches. Yeah, it feels okay when you're holding it up in the air. It certainly works. So, I shall now include some edited footage of me cracking down that branch. So, do that. And it disappears. Off. So there goes some stuff. Right, let's get the hard hat organised and get cut down trees.
Oh, that's the end of the review. Um, so I said the actual length of the blade, usable length of the blade, is, let's just double check that, that just over that 18 and a half centimetres. The head has three different positions, that one, one and that one. Um, I think it works quite well, blade's quite sharp. This will end up getting full of sawdust, does so on all um, chainsaws because obviously it's dragging sawdust in this way. I like the fact that the lead comes out of there and not there because that does mean you can stand it up without bugging up the lead. The thickest branch I took off today is that one and you can see that it's made Quite a reasonable crisp cut straight through that without any bother at all. A um, couple of points of note. With the head fully extended out, and it can go out quite a way. With that head fully extended out, that end is fairly heavy. You want to make sure that when you're using it like that, you are stood on something quite firm. I wouldn't recommend using it on a ladder, I did use it on that ladder, but then again, that ladder is tied to a roof and through a roof, so it can't move anywhere. But I think that for pole saw, for, at the moment I bought it for $49.99, it's going to get quite a bit of use with me, and I would recommend it. So the blade is nice and sharp as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please give it a like, share and subscribe.